Ryan, good evening. If you walk by one of the Carrier Dome parking lots, you might just see a few people pumping what looks to be gas into their cars. Except it's not gas, it's electricity. This here beside me is one of the new electric vehicle charging stations that SUNY ESF and National Grid unveiled yesterday. Now project organizers say that these new stations will serve as a new spark to make Syracuse a greener city. One, two, three. Yay! All right. Now that the ribbon's cut, it's time to charge up. It's very simple. It's very simple. To show just how simple it is, all you need to do is scan your credit card, unplug the handle. And after you take your handle and you've got it, you can now bring it over to your car. And just like you're pumping gas, plug it in and you're good to go. SUNY ESF and National Grid unveiled these 10 new electric vehicle charging stations yesterday morning. Those that work here on campus and park here will be able to use these electric charging stations, but so will the general public. Before, SUNY ESF only had one EV charging station, which was often in use, making this project transformative for the university. This is really helping us illustrate for the world what our mission is here. But for National Grid, this is only the beginning. This effort is part of an overall state effort and the desire to have over 850,000 electric vehicles on the road and over 50,000 electric vehicle plugs installed by 2025. With the new EV charging stations now open for the public, National Grid is confident that more Syracuse residents will make the switch. If you built it, they will come. If there weren't any charging stations, then that option wouldn't be on the table. Project organizers also said that these new EV stations will serve as one of the most affordable and publicly accessible charging hubs in all of Syracuse. Reporting live from SUNY ESF, I'm John Perrick, Citrus TV News.